Welcome! Today, CAT scans, PET scans, and MRIs are popular ways of getting 3D images. Confocal microscopy, micro CT, and electron tomography are also becoming very accessible and popular. They are popular because they provide true 3D or volumetric information, which is needed for a much more complete and accurate characterization of objects and collection of objects. Although there is commercially available software for 3D images, generally the available software focuses on 3D visualization of the data and often only provides basic processing and analysis. The Aphelion Imaging Software Suite is a cost-effective package that provides 3D display with the largest toolbox of functions for true 3D image processing and analysis. A common approach to 3D image analysis is to carry out stacked 2D operations. Since many of the 3D images are collected as stacks of 2D images, as a simple example, on the left is a dilation of two spheres using a disk structuring element by means of a stacked 2D analysis. While on the right, the same two spheres are dilated using true 3D processing with a sphere. Note that the two spheres will never connect using stacked processing. While using true 3D processing, they do merge. When moving from 2D to true 3D analysis, an added level of complexity arises in defining connected pixels, or rather 3D voxels. In 2D images, pixels that share an edge are said to be connected. This is a connectivity of 4. If the pixels that share a corner are included, this adds 4 additional connections, giving rise to a connectivity of 8. 4 from the edge sharing and 4 from the corner sharing. When working in 3D, there are 6 faces, 12 edges, and 8 corners, which can be shared and gives rise to connectivities of 6, 18, or 26. This added complexity increases processing time and thus requires highly optimized algorithms. It is critical to use true 3D processing and the proper connectivity in order to accurately characterize properties such as the number of objects, the number of neighboring objects, percolation and diffusion characterization, and shape characterization such as length, skeleton, and orientation. Here is an example of how the Aphelion Imaging Software Suite can be used to characterize a 3D image. This is an image of stabilized zirconia spheres. Although the spheres are touching one another, they will be separated so that volume, surface area, sphericity, and nearest neighbor count can be measured. The actual processing and analysis takes very little time using a macro as is shown here. The input image can be dropped into the visualization window and viewed using isosurface rendering to produce a 3D triangulated surface based on those voxels with a value that is less than a user specified value or volume rendering to produce transparent color images that can show the internal structure of the 3D objects or slice rendering to produce one or more 2D sections in a user chosen orientation. The image can be easily rotated into any orientation in order to view the features of interest. The Aphelion macro creates an object set that can also be displayed by dragging it into the visualization window. The measured results can be viewed in tabular form. The properties of the visualization window can be easily modified so that 3D relationships of the objects can be explored in great detail. Display modes can be toggled on and off. Surfaces can be rendered as points, wire frames, or solid surfaces, and individual objects can be uniquely color-coded. Individual objects can be quickly identified simply by clicking on the object in the image. In this case, object 189 has been selected. 
In the table are the measured properties showing that this object has four neighbors. The properties of the visualization window can be used to select just object 189 and its four neighbors. Now the object and its immediate environment can be explored in great detail. Aphelion has a very rich set of measurements for 3D objects that can be easily computed, as shown here. These results can then be displayed as a histogram for a property of interest such as the number of nearest neighbors by selecting that property in the grid view and then selecting histogram. Or data can be plotted as a scatter plot of two properties such as number of neighbors versus object surface area by selecting these properties and then selecting scatter plot. Another unique and powerful tool in Aphelion for characterizing fibrous or vein-like networks is 3D skeletonization. Based on advanced work from the Ecole de Mines in Paris and Monash University in Australia, a comprehensive set of skeleton attributes is computed. Whatever the level of measurement complexity, Aphelion has the tools you need. We encourage you to download a fully functional evaluation copy of Aphelion from our websites adsys.net and amerineximaging.com. The websites also have much more information about Aphelion and its many applications. Please feel free to contact us for additional information. Our contact information is on the Contact Us webpages at the two websites. Thank you.